What is up guys and gals, it's me Tom Santa one here, and today we're going to be taking a look at something that I have been sitting on for a few weeks because, well actually like a week, I've been sitting on it for a week because I've been waiting for all the parts to come in, and I finally got all, got all the parts for everything, so everything is finally up to speed and we are getting ready to go. So, without further ado, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Knockoff Studio Series. Hightower, otherwise known as Deformation Iron Arm. Number, I don't know which one out of eight. But yeah, they ask for eight. And this is not, this claw is definitely not on the same properly as the box. But they want, they definitely want you to know it's from the Deformation movie series. Number two out of eight. There you go. So, anywho, the without that box in the way here we have studio series knockoff of hightower and uh you'll notice one thing right off the bat this shade of yellow is slightly off yes yes it is so it is slightly off because it is um a knockoff so yeah that's that's the one thing you're gonna have to deal with with this review it is a knockoff so anywho um so basically this is Hightower and there's not really much else to say before him because I mean he's a kind of a weird little dude. I mean he's just a he's a crane with, you know, a hook at the at the top of it that doesn't have a rope or anything that extends, you know, not because not because I really care about that specifically, but because, you know, hey, if we're going to go for it, we're going to go for it. This needs to be angled down. But, you know, hey, why not? And uh, he does suffer from uh, weird head syndrome, as do all the Constructicons. And this guy just seems to be, like, the weirdest of them all. So, if I'm not mistaken, he was based off some concept art that never got a robot mode. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, hey, let's we got to give this guy robot mode now. And the, the, um, the um, Legends class of... Um, Revenge of the Fallen, they had given him a weird-esque looking uh, robot mode, and they were like, hey, let's take some inspiration from that design, and this was what they gave us, so uh, this is based off the Hasbro design, so I can say this is based off of what Hasbro wanted to give us, it is not oversized, definitely not oversized for sure, so yeah. But basically, that's it for everything that I can really give you in terms of like, hey, this thing exists, so I mean... It's yellow, it's painted some areas, and some areas it's not, so, yeah. Alright, so now that we've done that, it's time to get him into some scale comparisons. We all love the scale comparisons. So, you know, anywho, here he is next to Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Soundwave. Let's get this like so. Zoom in a little bit. So, move this out of the way. Here he is next to one of our previous Studio Series Devastator figure. Here he is next to Long Haul. And finally, here he is next to. I'm gonna have to zoom out pretty far for this one to see if I can see if I can get him on you know on camera. Here he is next to the Fallen, who's exceedingly tall. To raise up the camera a little bit for that so yeah there you have that just to move it off to the side here angling up screws me up every time anyways so we've done that we get him into combined mode and then we'll get him into combined mode with scrap metal and then we will show off how it goes into robot mode so First thing you're going to do is basically you're going to come to the back section here. You're going to bring this out. Make sure this tab in untaps from that in there. Then you're going to angle this up. And then there's a clip section that's going to go right into that slot right there. And then just close up like all up. Do the same thing on the other side. Just untab that and clip it. Make sure it stays in. And there you have that. So... Now that we've got that going on, we can take scrap metal and we can then take him and we can, there's a port right there and this is the fan mode version 
And uh, you're going to take this tower piece and you're going to angle it all the way up. And then I'm going to get this to slide on in there. And once we get this all straightened out, let me get everything all right to go. Take this arm piece, do that. Straighten this down. So that way things can be stabilized. Oh, that's annoying, but let's get that all stabilized. And there you have an arm of de the arm of Devastator complete. Or uh, one side of his arm complete. The other side is Scrapper, so we'll have to get that taken care of at some point. But anywho, this is this is what this is the other arm. So right, Ugh, this is a little difficult to undo them. And now that we've seen that, now we're going to get him into his robot mode. Now to start, we're going to take the legs and we're going to open them up and we're going to close these down just to get that done and out of the way. Do the same thing on the other side. Do this. Take this, bring it down, and then swing it in, and then you're going to basically leave it like so. Basically then do the same thing on the other side, swing it inwards, and leave it alone for now. And then we're going to come to the back section here, we're going to lift this all the way up like so. That will, un that will free up some space for you to then bring this all the way around so and this should just clip into place back into the slot where you tabbed in the wheels or the uh, treads Do the same thing on the other side and these pieces here tab into a bar section right there clip that in swing this all the way down Ro make sure you rotate that inward make sure you then take this and make sure you swing that inward and so it looks so it looks like this and then bring this all the way down. Make sure that it does the same thing on the other side. Swing that around, swing it around, bring this around, straighten it out. Then you're going to take this tower piece, you're going to take this, angle it however you feel. Take this piece here, I like to angle it just enough so that way it works like that. Take this, bring this down so that the angle of his head works. Take this piece, I'm going to bring it all the way up like so, so that way it completes the rest of his body. Straighten it all up. And there you have Hightower in his robot mode. And a weird looking robot mode. Oh, I, I totally messed up. I totally messed up. I totally messed up the wheel. You're going to want to do that, but you're going to want to rotate this around. Make sure it's like that. Good job. Ugh. Messed it up. How could I mess that? How could I mess something so simple and easy up? So, anywho, there he is in robot mode, and uh, he's a pretty ugly dude in robot mode. I mean, seriously. Honestly. I mean, not that it's a bad design. It's not a bad design. It's just an ugly robot. It's just an ugly face. It's just an ugly all of it. So, you know, hey. Anywho, so now that we've gotten him in robot mode, we're going to get him into some scale comparisons. Y'all, we know what we do. We all know we love those scale comparisons. So, here he is next to our previous one, Studio Series Long Haul. The official version. Here he is next to Revenge of the Fallen Sideways Studio Series. And finally, here he is next to the Fallen. There we go. Ooh, I got him in on I got him in on camera this time. Leader Class Studio Series the Fallen. Let's bring his arm thingy down. Okay, so as in where do I rank this figure? I'm gonna have to rank it well. Firstly, the plastic feels much cheaper than the other ones. And, well, I mean, it is a knockoff, so, I mean, I can't really complain there on that note. But it, but even even the fact that it is a knockoff, it's still it's still tie tower. I know exactly what this looks like. I know exactly what this feels like. I know what, exactly what it is. I just don't 
think this is this I don't think you should buy a knockoff is what I'm saying. I don't think you should buy a knockoff. This was like $30 on eBay. $30 on eBay. Yeah, I'll pay that for a high tower, but will I pay that, you know, will I pay like 130 for an official version? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I will not. But, you know, this could be worse. So, anywho, I'm going to rank this a six and a half. Six and a half because, I mean, obviously it's a ripped off design of a ripped off figure from a really good, from a really good, from a really good wine, how shall we say. So, you know, I'm going to describe this figure in one word. I'm going to describe it as cute. And when I say cute, I don't mean it's like, you know, oh, like, oh, that's so cute. I, I say that as in cute as in it's a compliment or... Or it's a, you know, an insult. And in this point, it's an insult. Like, oh, look, it's a cute figure. That This is what you had to give us, Hasbro? You couldn't give him actual freaking legs? You know, had to give him treads and all that stuff, you know? So, anywho. Anyway, this is Thomas Fano one saying, don't forget to check out Planet Toys, a world built by collectors, where I will leave a link to that website in the description down below, where I will leave a link to, I pr where I will leave a link to a Studio Series scrapper, skirt, not scrapper, scrap metal, where you can get yourself one of those, and if you do, if you do decide to get yourself one of those, then you might as well check out the fact that they are doing sign up. So if you do sign up with them, you get a 10% off your first order today. <clears throat> So, anywho, this is Thomas Fanta one saying, don't forget to check out Optination Reviews, Beastman Reviews, Jordy's Rail Videos, Rivitude Reviews, Patrick with a Y, iStar552, Bravely GG, and Take Along Productions. And then, as I know, they all do some amazing work and have done so in the past. So, anywho, go check them out. I am Thomas Fanta one saying, do not forget to keep playing with your toys. Don't forget.